Acne, a teenager's greatest fear. This book introduces acne, the skin disease common among teenagers. It covers its symptoms, treatments, and preventions that one can take to mitigate the effects of the illness. Introduction. You begin a typical day in high school. The clouds in the sky give the school a sleepy feeling as you run from class to class. However, you find all of your friends staring at you in biology class. When school ends, you hurry home, desperate to find a mirror. Then you see it. Small red dots on your face with white greenish tips. What are they and how did they get there? Why should you care and how can those zits be treated? Keep reading to learn more about acne, the true nightmare of a teenager. What is acne? What is the most common skin disease in the United States? The answer, acne. Acne only occurs when our skin pores become clogged with an oily substance called sebum along with dead skin cells. When this happens, people may see pimples, blackheads, and whiteheads grow on their facial areas. Though acne is most common in teenagers, it can affect anyone. Acne can seem to recover, but it can worsen if not monitored. Luckily, all symptoms of acne have treatments. Acne, its symptoms. In a person's teenage years, the rapidly growing body secretes more sebum than usual. Along with regular dead skin cells, skin pores become clogged rapidly. Once pores become clogged, they swell and become a blackhead, whitehead, or pimple. What are the differences? A blackhead is an open clogged pore. This means that the sebum inside is exposed to oxygen. Have you ever seen an apple left out in the open air? It quickly darkens in color due to its oxidation. Sebum in a clogged pore is no different. After the clog opens up, the sebum, which is actually a yellowish color, appears black from the outside. A white head is very similar to a black head. However, they possess one major difference. In a blackhead, the skin is open where the pore is open, allowing the sebum to oxidize. Meanwhile, in a whitehead, sebum is shielded from the oxygen, giving the sebum its true color. Finally, there are pimples. Pimples arise from blackheads or whiteheads that become infected with common skin bacteria, P. acnes. To truly understand pimples, we have to take a detour to the immune system. You should already know that our immune system attacks anything that it recognizes as foreign to the body. P. acnes is only one of the many bacteria that your immune cells try to defend your body against. So why do pimples spring up most during puberty? During puberty, your facial skin cells tend to secrete more sebum, which gives way to more clogged pores. P. acnes loves to infect these pores, and your immune system intervenes, which is why pimples are filled with pus. Pus is simply a yellow-greenish liquid that is made up of bacteria and dead white blood cells. As explained in our immune system book, immune cells die while fighting an infection. When such dead cells mix with bacteria, pus is created as a fluid to contain the intruders. Transmission. It is human instinct to fear germs. When somebody says bacteria, what do you think of? You may think of the Black Death, pneumonia that your grandparent just died from, or the pseudomonas that can rot away your whole body. However, acne is not as serious and it shouldn't be something that you must fear. At the worst, it leaves scars after treatment. The only way to spread it is through the pus of a popped pimple. Treatment and prevention. Acne is natural and can stem from many causes. Some people have it from a lack of exercise, but others have it from pure genetics. The light still shines at the end of the tunnel. There are ways you can prevent acne completely. 
washing your face often, not popping your pimples, and eating healthy are time-tested methods to help stop acne breakouts. There are many treatments for acne and they can be split into two categories, self-care and medication. Self-care products are probably the most diverse. They include antibacterial soaps, sebum cleansers, benzoyl peroxide, and tretinoin. However, these aren't always strong enough to beat back the worst acne symptoms. If your case of acne doesn't show any signs of alleviation, contact a dermatologist or skin doctor. They might prescribe medicines such as antibiotics to kill P acnes, vitamin A derivatives which unplugs clogged pores, and anti-inflammatory pills. Now let's take a look at some of the preventions. First, you can try washing your face often. Washing one's face kills P acnes. By killing those little pests, clogged pores won't become infected as much. The second strategy is not popping your pimples. Pimples are a way for your body to contain bacteria. If you pop them, then you might as well be freeing criminals from prison. Finally, eating healthy not only helps you be more fit, but it helps reduce the effects of acne on you. In conclusion, acne, the bane of teenagers, is a common skin disease. By treating it and learning more, you can discover new things about your body-spanning complex microbiome. The end.